Hi, um, I'm Corbin Yerk, um, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a podcast on Charles Babbage. Now, Charles Babbage was um, a inventor and scientist of the mid to late 1800s. Um, he's probably most common on Full Sail for his um, invention of the difference machine. Uh, probably because of the video that was in the first week, but, um, I'm actually not going to talk about the difference machine, um, as my main focus on my, uh, podcast today. What I really want to talk about is, um, his, uh, what it, what's in my opinion, his biggest contribution. And in my opinion, that is actually the invention of the ophthalmoscope which is pretty common in medical practices. It's used mostly uh, in checkups and eye exams and stuff like that. It's a little, um, I don't know, uh, magnifying glass. Basically, you hold it and the doctor looks through it and uh, it's lit up at the end so that he can look uh, uh, more accurately uh, in your nose, look at your retinas, Um, to see if you have an ear exam, throat problems, so on and so forth. And that's used every single day um, throughout the world. So it's pretty important. I'd say that's his number one uh, biggest contribution. And um, I would say that the reason he was able to create it when he did was simply because of his innovation. Um, No one else had really thought of a way to make it a reality. No one has ever created that invention before. It's always, it had just been a magnifying glass with a light. And he invented that and it ended up, I mean, of course it improved a little bit over the years, but it's basically the same design that it you that it was back when he made it in the 1800s. So it's amazing that something like that stayed this entire time. Um, now, I would say that uh, Charles Babbage was more influenced by other people's inventions and innovations than um, the people themselves. He was inspired by um, a lot of the activities that he chose to participate in, such as lock picking. He was interested in the way that the locks worked, the cylinders, how it had been around for years and years since since Egypt. Um, He was into ciphers. He liked decoding things. Um, he was inspired by submarine propulsion, which at that time was very small, uh, industry. (laughs) Um, in the 1800s, there was not a lot of, uh, research on submarine propulsion. So he was very inspired by that. Um, and last but not least, diving bells. He was very interested in diving bells. So, um, some cool things to, uh, note. Um, and... I would say that the people that he most inspired would be railroad, railroad um, inventors because he created not a huge part of the train, but he created the cow catcher on the front of the train, which we still use um, today, I'm fairly certain. Oh, no, I don't think we do. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, it was used for a very long time. And... Um, was pretty important to the railroad industry, although it wasn't a huge invention. Um, it was still very important. So um, I would say that people in the railroad industry were definitely inspired by that. And then, of course, um, me. I'm inspired by his adding machine. Well, not his adding machine, the difference machine, I suppose. Um, to be able to create something like that in his time is amazing. So um, that is another person who is inspired by him. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to conclude this podcast. I hope that it was educational, and I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. See you.